<laughs> oh my god, I'm dying. Just making sure the match is strapped. All right, everyone. We're back to 2K24 for an episode today of Thursday Night's Warfare. Tonight's main event. The... Oh, hold on here. No, do not want to do that yet. Tonight's main event will be Tom Waller putting his strong openweight title on the line against the House of Torture's Jack Perry. Also tonight is some is all Group A action. In uh, the best of, best of the junior heavyweights tournament, first match of the day will be Black Tarus against uh, Vanillo Del Vintingo. Be the first match of the day. Black Tarus won his match on the last time Group A had action. He defeated Jackson Banks to, to get on the board. And Van Kingo lost to Devin. Devin has the main event of Group A tonight as he's facing Atlantis Jr. The battle of two guys with two points. Also tonight is uh, Teton. He's taking on, if I remember correctly, he's taking on Jackson Banks. You know, so Valador Jr. and Taki Ishimori. Sporo Jr. Clark Connors. Nice arm drag there by Black Tarus. And a rope right there for Van Kingo. And look out, Van Kingo with a nice tilt to whirl Hurricane Rana. It's always something that's going to be hard to stop Van Kingo. And that's that speed of his. He's one fast wrestler. Look out, slingshot DDT. Right on the floor, Van Kingo. I mean, he'll love to get on the board, but there's a counter by Tarus. Tarus and axe handle right to the head. Tarus drops the elbow. Two count. Tarus, and oh, I thought he was going to throw him right into the uh, stairs here. Next episode will most likely be either Monday, or oh, actually most likely it will be Monday because Sunday, I believe if I remember correctly, Sunday is going to be the first MLB video of uh, this year. Yeah, we're going to do MLB The Show 24 most likely on Sunday. If we can't do it on Sunday, it will be on Monday. But I'll still put, an, I'll still put, out, put out an episode. Then Kingo, the rebound lariat. Right to Black Tarose. Van Kingo, though, stopped by, stopped by Tarus. As Van Kingo right now has the arm of Tarus, throws him to the corner. Nice shoulder tackle right to the corner. Tarus, oh, springboard drop kick. Heck of a move by Van Kingo. Van Kingo, another tilt to run out the head scissors. Beautiful by Van Kingo. One of the longest reigning AAA champions of all time over in Mexico before he got the knee injury that ended his reign. Here's an abdominal stretch and he'll pull back the leg as well with the submission hold. A beautiful hold by Van Kingo. Tarus got out of that. Tarus with the spear. Black Tarus nailed that spear. Here's the cover. Van Kingo kicks out. Close fall there by Van Kingo. Oh, and here we go. Here we go. They're going off. Here we go. Shopping away at each other. These two know each other pretty well. And these two are beating the hell of each other with these chops. Chopping, chopping at each other like knives. And there's a punch by Van Kingo. A chop like Tarus is blocked by Van Kingo. Van Kingo says, bring it on. Oh, and he has slapped him in the face. Chopped by Van Kingo. These two firing off like machine guns right now. Shot by Tarus, another chop. Van Kingo fires off with a big shot. Now there they go. They're going at a big time. Van Kingo and Tarus. Man, what an exchange. That was crazy. By Black Tarus and Van Kingo in an arm drag by Tarus. Tarus misses. Kicks by Van Kingo. He misses there. Van Kingo ducks down, tornado shot. Right to the head of Black Tarus. Tarus is down, Van Kingo top rope, 6.30, gone home. Van Kingo. No, 
Oh, Black Tarus. Somehow kicked out of the 6.30. Uh-oh, springboard. Splash by Van Kingo. Van Kingo going top rope here. Van Kingo, what is this? Go, oh, Phoenix Splash. Yeah, that, yeah, that was good old Phoenix Splash. Van Kingo pumps him with a forearm with the head. Garus is down, but he's rolling outside of the ring. Smart idea. Don't let Van Kingo go to the top rope. Meteora right to the head. A Meteora by Van Kingo. Tarus just ate a knee drop. I think there's some blood coming out of that mask. Van Kingo with a shot to the ribs of Black Tarus. Van Kingo can feel it. He's pretty close to maybe winning this matchup here. But both men have been beating the hell out of each other. Tarus, what is this on the floor? Shoulder breaker. Shoulder breaker by Black Tarus right on the floor. Right to Van Kingo. Then King goes down though. Black Tarus, neck twist with his legs too, or I should say his feet. A brutal move by Black Tarus, and he's count. Whoa! Kick in the corner by Van Kingo. Tarus was was taunting. There's a big kick again by Van Kingo. Cover by Van Kingo. No, and a two count by Van Kingo. Tarus is in trouble, Van Kingo. I don't know what the hell he's doing. Kick to the back of Black Tarus. Van Kingo is trying to maybe go for the submission victory here. Yeah, he is going for that stretch again, but Black Tarus counters the crossbody. The weight of Black Tarus, too much by Van Kingo. Here's a cover. Black Tarus, no. Oh. A knee to the head of Van Kingo by Black Tarus. Tarus is feeling it right now, but here comes Van Kingo, counter Black Tarus. Black Tarus throws Van Kingo off the ropes. Big slam. And an elbow to the back of Van Kingo by Black Tarus. Tarus is going for that Omega driver. If he hits it, I think it's done. No, spinning. Spinning landslide by Black Tarus to beat Van Kingo. No, Van Kingo. He kicks out. Black Tarus is really feeling it though now. And now he's going for it. Now he's going for the Omega Driver. If he hits this, it's over. Black Tarus puts him up. The Omega Driver. And you have to think that's it. And it is Black Tarus now with four points. So far, that's the most points in Group A. Black Tarus two for two so far in this tournament for him. Has beaten Jackson Banks, now he's beaten Van Kingo. A great start for Black Tarus. All right, next up, we were going. We are going to have Saboro Jr. against Clark Connors. Only six matches, by the way, tonight, so not a very big card, but still a good card nonetheless. Saboro Jr. has two points. Clark Connors has none. And so here we go, Clark Connors and Saboro Jr. Look out here, what for the Hurt Runner early, but Clark Connors drills him with an uppercut. Nice drop kick by Saboro Jr. Blocked by Clark Connors, ducked down there. Saboro Jr. defeated, if I remember correctly, it was uh, Taki Ishimori. Nice knee drop by Clark Connors. And Clark Connors lost to Atlantis Jr.
Right now, Clark Connors knees right to the bat. Sporo Jr. right back to his feet and kicks Clark Connors. Sporo uppercut in the corner. Really shots by Sporo. Clark Connors will look out. Whoa, 6 one, nine, right into the uh, corner of by Saboro Jr. Saboro, nice inverted DDT. Clark Connors is down. Oh, a beautiful sunset flip, but a rope break. Saboro, look out for him in the corner, got him. Here's these shots here. And springboard, no. No springboard for by Saboro Jr. Clark Connors got him with the punch to the rib cage. Clark Connors, the punch to the ribs, and a ripcord lariat by Clark Connors. <clears throat> Clark. Springboard kick. Clark Connors, a beautiful springboard there. And Clark Connors of the Bullet Club War Dogs, the boot to the head. And now he's laying on him. Clark Connors better get ready for a big tournament pretty soon in Japan. He's the uh, best Super Juniors is coming up soon. Oh, Saboro, there's a tilt to, war, tilt to whirl arm bar. Clark trying to roll out of it, and he does. And a springboard punch. Actually, springboard forearm, my bad, wrong move. Clark's feeling it right now, but Saboro caught him. Caught him taunting. Couple of big clotheslines. Catches the foot, sweeps the leg. Saboro Jr. got him. Cover on Clark Connors. And a kick out by Clark, because the referee, I think, was a little slow on that count. Clark Connors trying to bat to his feet. Saboro Jr. drops him with a drop kick. And now, oh, shot right into the back of Clark Connors. Saboro, there it is, flux capacity. Oh, Saboro top rope. Clark Connors look up below. Wow, arm drag from the top. A diving one at that too. Oh, big knee by Clark. Oh. And Clark, oh, he's caught. Oh, what a hell of a move that was. Like a tilt to whirl into a face buster. Right onto the, right on the ring canvas. Cover on Clark Connors. Got him. Saboro Jr. Saboro Jr. A tilt to whirl, like face crusher right into the ring canvas. Gets him the victory. He's also at four points with Black Tarus. So Black Tarus and Saboro Jr. are on top of Group B right now with two point with four points each at the moment. Now out of these two, I wonder who's going to get their first two points of this tournament. Neither man has t has at all gotten a victory in the tournament, so it should be very interesting to see who's going to get the win here. Uh, before we go to this match, though, I'm going to give out some shoutouts. So, of course, the first shout-out still to the normal people, as always. Vampiro712, Shockwave Wrestling. Cap Captain Awesome, a.k.a. Iron Taylor. Dust Killer, Dust Killer 30, a.k.a. Christopher Hovis. Number 6 with Cheese, that franchise guy. And Prince Macau. 
Uh, your random shoutouts for today are to water. Uh, let me see here. Water, uh, New Japan Pro Wrestling's uh, New Japan Cup Tournament. Just had night eight, if I remember correctly, just a couple, just a couple hours ago. Where Yoda Suji beat El Phantasma to go to the quarterfinals, and Ren Yurita of House Torture beat Zack Sabre Jr. to go on to the quarterfinals. The quarterfinals will start tomorrow with Sonata versus Jack Perry and David Finley versus Roki Dodo. The final random shout out, uh, Dune Part Two. Cause I seen Do Dune Part Two not too long ago, and it was a pretty good movie. Anyway, let's head to the ring for Ishimori and Violador Jr. to see. Out of these two men, who's going to get their first victory of this tournament? These men could use it. Coming out first, though, will be Taki Ishimori, the bone soldier of the Bullet Club. Who lost to Atlant uh, Sporo Jr., not Atlantis Jr. And then you have Valador Jr. coming out now, and he lost to Teton. Teton has Jackson Banks tonight. Atlantis has Devin. Atlantis Jr. and Devin, the bandit, should be a great matchup. Those two I know can definitely put on a great contest. That'll be the final match of Group A today. Tomorrow's, or the next episode, not tomorrow's, but the next episode for Group B should be a very interesting one. The big main event of Japanese legends. If I remember correctly, the main event of, uh, or should I say the main event? Yeah, I think it's going to be the main event. If not, I'll tell you if it's not and what's in its place will be the battle of the Japanese legends as it will be Juice and Thunder Liger versus Tiger Mask. Uh, Michael Blaze versus Brandon Styles will be a match. We have Sean versus Yoshinobu Karamara. As look out for dropping through the ropes by Ishimori. Uh, Dr. Wagner Jr. has Drilla Maloney. Nice high knee, the, by the way, on the floor. And Christopher Daniels. Yeah, Christopher Daniels will have... i to fix my microphone here. It's coming off my headset here. I'm trying to remember who Christopher Daniels fights. Whoever is last in that. Eh. Was this sh here? Oh, four on the head. Duck down. Off the ropes. And, oh, tilt the rope backbreaker. See, so yeah, that would be Liger versus Tiger Mask. Sean. I'm sorry. Liger versus Tiger Mask. Brand Styles, Michael Blaze. Sean versus Yoshinobu Karamara. Dr. Wagner Jr. and uh, Drilla Maloney. And then you got Christopher Daniels fighting the other guy that's in that tournament. I completely forget who's his name. Congrats, me. Oh, kick in the corner by Ishimori. That's dangerous. What a kick in the corner. Oh, it's Mystico. Mystico versus Christopher Daniels. That's who it is. Okay, so it's Mystico versus Christopher Daniels. That'll be the other match group B that has been said yet. Nice clothesline by Valador Jr. It will be on our, and we're currently right now on the road to our first pay-per-view of 24, which will either be next Friday or Saturday. One of those two days will be the first pay-per-view of 24. There's a drop or a double stop right to the arm of Ishimori. That's got to hurt. Valador Jr. thought Ishimori was down and he taunted it. But Ishimori got right back up. There's a leg drop from the Bone Soldier. Oh, look out below. Springboard cross body right to the floor. What a move by Taka Ishimori. I wouldn't be surprised if Ishimori, Chase Owens, and uh, Kenta go after the never open weights. The never open weight six man tag titles in Japan. There's a bloody cross on the floor by Ishimori. Valador Jr. grabbing at his knees. And now Ishimori is feeling it at the moment. 
Don't forget about that main event tonight. Jack Perry, the scapegoat of House of Torture, faces the strong openweight champion, Filthy Tom Lawler, for the title. Ishimori tried to go for the bloody cross, but he couldn't go for it. Valador Jr. tilt a world backbreaker. Oh, Valador making a mistake, though. Ishimori, there's the kick. Bloody cross. Bloody cross by Taka Ishimori. And kick out by Valador Jr. Nice drop shot there by Ishimori. Off the ropes, Ishimori, he the side of the head of Valador Jr. <coughs> Voice crack. Valador put in the corner by Ishimori. And punts his leg right into the ropes. Valador grabbing at that leg, which has been a good spot go to for Ishimori tonight. Big body slam by the Bone Soldier. And a running neck snap right there by Taka Ishimori. Ishimori with a kick right to that leg again. And now Ishimori about almost halfway across the, the ring calling up Valador Jr. And a diving crossbody. A big one by Taka Ishimori. And Ishimori is going to put away Valador right here, perhaps. No, and a block by Valador. I think Ishimori was trying to hit that bloody cross again, but it was caught by Valador. Valador kicked to the knee of Ishimori off the ropes. Canadian Destroyer. Out of the corner, Canadian Destroyer by Valador Jr. And a kick out, Ishimori. And a springboard. Sometimes all you need is that one big counter, and right now that could be working for, for Valador Jr. Valador, head scissors. On top of Ishimori, but Ishimori gets out of it. Ishimori knows submissions pretty well. He's a technical type of wrestler. There's a big clothesline again by Valador. Valador going to the top rope here. Valador Jr. really going high risk with the moon soul, and he missed it. He missed. Oh, but Ishimori taunt. He taunt, but here's a block here by Ishimori. Ishimori the kick. Hooks him up over the shoulder. Got him. A pump handle driver. Ishimori going to hook him up for it. Big knee to the head. And now going to set him up, hooks him up for it. Here we go, bloody cross. Bloody cross again to Valador Jr. It's over, Taka Ishimori on the board. Ishimori with two bloody crosses right to Valador Jr. to get the victory tonight. He's finally got his first two points of this tournament. On side of some other people. Almost near the end of the freaking match card already. I can't believe it. Next up is going to be Jackson Banks versus Titan. Will Jackson Banks get his first victory of this tournament? Or will Titan go up to four points? Gotta get some water before the match starts, actually. That'd be a good idea. Now comes Jackson Banks. A lot of the Shockwave guys aren't here tonight because of Shockwave sh uh, Zero Hour that happened last night. A lot of interesting things happened at Shockwave last night. And the main event of the show, uh, Malachi Amroth. Defeated Mr. Amazing to be to if I remember correctly, he won the title from Mr. Amazing. Then after the match, Mr. Kozese Kojima attacked Malachi Amaroff and challenged him to a match with that title on the line. Was well, this by Titan? Double or power bomb? Kick out by Banks. Off the 
ropes. Drop kick. No, oh, drop kick. Off the ropes. Jackson Banks, there's a jumping kick. He hit three of those during the, his matchup against Tarus in which he lost to Black Tarus. One of these big shots here. In the corner goes Titan. This a uh, freaking shot in the chest. And, oh, nice Russian leg sweep by Jackson Banks. Over on the floor, look out for Banks. Oh, and he missed it. He just missed that twisting cross body on the outside. Oh, that arm. Bent back, Teton. That's a good idea for Banks to after Teton's arm. I don't know if Teton can lock in the EL Mortel if he's got a bad arm. Another shot of that arm. Teton thrown. Oh, back first in the barricade, then a senton right from the spine. Another another big move of that body of Teton. He's targeting almost every limb of the body of Teton. Teton thrown back into the ring by Banks. Banks has been has been all over him. And now big shots for Teton. He's coming back. Nice kick to the ribs of Banks and a Pele kick. The Pele kick by Teton. Chop right in the corner. Wait a second. Kicks his leg right into the ropes. We know how well, we know how pretty damn good the legs of Jackson Banks are with those kicks. Here's a cover. And a kick out. Now there's a kick for Teton. Spraying for Cutter from Teton. Mr. El Mortal. And now German suplex. He done just need to get a little bit of a spark going, and he's got the spark going now. In the corner, no rip cord with a shot with a big needle ahead of Jackson Banks. Oh, a big miss there for Teton. Jackson Banks has shouldered him right in the ribs. Slingshot DDT. Cover by Jackson Banks off the slingshot DDT. Cover on Teton, kick out. Teton trying to back to his feet, and he does. A miss there by Banks, another spray board cutter by Teton. Cover for Teton. Ref in position here, and a kick out for Banks. Banks, another rip core shot by Teton. Banks is bleeding. Jackson Banks has been busted open by Teton with that needle ahead. Jackson Banks catches Teton off guard. And no, Teton got out of it. No chop block. A chop block to the leg of Jackson Banks. He's thrown in the corner by Teton. Tornado DDT out of the corner. That might do it. Cover. No, just barely kicks out. Very close there. That would have been almost a. That would have been a three. Uh oh. Oh, he, here we go. Here comes El Mortel. Banks trying to get out of it. Banks trying to fight out. Oh, I think, I think he thumbed him right in the eye. I think he poked him in the eye to get out of the submission hold. And that would have been, in my opinion, that would have been the only way Banks would have got out of that hole clean if, if, if he poked him in the eye, which he did. Teton now throwing his own slingshot. DDT on the apron. Banks saved himself by poking Teton in the eyes during when Teton had him locked in the El Mortel. Back into the ring goes Teton. Oh my God, no, not from there. I was going to say, Teton, are you crazy trying to hit the move like that from that far out? There's a five count in the Banks. Jackson Banks is hurt right now, and he's bleeding. He's had a poke his opponent in the eyes, but look out, Teton! A big dive. He caught Banks too, now he's got his arm. He definitely's got his arm now. 
Jackson Banks moving out of the way of that kick there by Teton. Banks has Teton, throws him away. Banks trying to fire up here. Banks with these chops and punches right to Teton. What more does Banks have to do to Teton? Banks. Drops that elbow right into the back of Teton. And now, Teton kicks him. Kicks him while he's down, why not? Teton, it's got an arm drag right into the right into that spine of Teton and now a shot to that shoulder with his, uh, with his foot. Banks is going to take Teton. He's going to throw him back into the ring here. Teton trying to get back to his feet. Banks has him up, boots his arm again. And smart decisions for Banks. Off the ropes, goes for maybe that jumping kick and he got him. The jumping kick by Jackson Banks, he's saying it's over. Banks says it's over here very soon. And here we go, Jackson Banks, is he gonna be correct? Can he hit, can he hit Teton? The kick is complete, gonna hook him into it. And he's done it locked in that hook on Teton. Teton trying to fight out of the hook here, and he does. Teton got out of it, but how much damage has been dealt to the uh, head and neck area of Teton? Jumping kick and a miss by Jackson Banks, Teton springboard, drop kick. Springboard drop kick, Teton. He's gonna pull in the center of the ring. Banks is in dire trouble. And here it comes, E.L. Moore Town. And Banks taps out, Teton wins. Yael Mortel gets the job done for Teton. And he's now at four points alongside of Black Tarus and Saboro Jr. on top of Group A. A big win again for Teton. All right, now we're going on to the final match of Group A today. Against, as it's Devin the Bandit versus Atlantis Jr. The winner of this match will basically join Atlantis, uh, will join Saboro Jr., Black Tarus, and Teton on the top of Group A. Now comes Atlantis Jr. Let's see if Devin can go up to four points here. And so far, start off two for two in the tournament. Well, will it be the other way for Atlantis Jr.? Oh, wow, beautiful springboard already by Devin to start things off. Devin gonna go for a quick cover. That kick out at two, that was close already. Devin. There's another springboard drop kick. Devin's going for high springboard moves already, but look out, Atlantis gonna one him up with that springboard of his own. Nice German suplex by Atlantis. Atlantis Jr. here. Drives him with a vertical suplex. I'll do my announcing when we hit the main event, by the way. Atlantis Jr. a missile drop it to the floor. Devin throws Atlantis into the bear cage, shoulder first. Little big shots by Devin. Devin connects with a backbreaker right on the floor. Atlantis blocking Devin here with these shots right into the rib cage. Atlantis throws him into the steel. Right into the steel steps goes Devin's rib cage. Devin picked up by Atlantis Jr. Atlantis 
Netbreaker, big jumping netbreaker right on the floor to Devin. Devin may be knocked out cold. Someone may want to pour some water on Devin because he might be out cold. A jumping netbreaker right on the floor. Atlantis is not finished though with Devin. Going to slam his knee right on the outside of the ring. Man, Atlantis Jr. so far in this match has been relentless. Devin thrown back in the ring by Atlantis Jr. Devin trying to get back up to his feet, but Atlantis staying right on him, but there's a block for Devin. Spring, four, drop kick for Devin. Another cover for Devin off the springboard drop kick. He got one. Devin blocked by Atlantis Jr. here. Atlantis taught him, but no, he's taught by Devin. Byron's carried to the needle ahead. And Atlantis is in a spot where he doesn't want to be. Devin's going to go for those triple crossroads. Here we go. One. Two. Three. Got all three. Cover. Devin for a win. Got him. Devin beats Atlantis Jr. Devin on that with up to four points, two for two so far in his matches. This is just one of those types of matches where if you at least hit your big move first, you, you, <laughs> this is one of those matches where if you hit your big move first, you win. That's basically what I was trying to say. But I lost my uh, ability to talk. But Devin joining Saboro Jr., Black Tarus, and Teton on the top of Group A with four points. And now we reach the main event of the evening. Filthy Tom Waller is going to put the strong openweight title on the line against the state, the scapegoat, Jack Perry. Jack Perry has Yoshinobu Karamara and Ren Narita with him in his corner, while Tom Waller has David Boy Smith Jr. and St. Laurent. Apparently, uh, what happened last night on Shockwave was Michael Blaze was fired from World Titan Federations by St. Laurent and replaced by the bounty hunter Brian Keith of AEW. But here we go, Perry versus Tom Lawler. As the falling contest starts for one fall, is for the MUOW Strong Open Weight Championship. Introducing first, representing the House of Torch, being accompanied by Yoshinobu Karamara and Ren Narita. He is the scapegoat, Jack Perry. And here comes Jack Perry, the scapegoat of the House of Torture. Bringing some buddies along with him to try to win the strong open weight title here. Who knows, maybe he may do that. But I hope to God not. Jack Perry, though, he does have a couple championship experiences from AEW. Not only that, he's got a quarterfinal match in the New Japan Cup tomorrow against Sonata. Oh, what? Did we just, did we just friggin' have a glitch? Yeah, we did, because people were invincible, typical 2K, invincible glitches. But here we go, oh, here we go. After the glitch by 2K, here we go, the main event of tonight, Jack Perry and Tom Waller. Will Jack Perry beat Tom Waller and become champion, or will Waller keep the title? Waller won the title back at Knock Highway Three or Hypnock Highway, yeah, Hypnock Highway Three. Beating GX3 to win the title. He's been champion since. He's defended it twice already, and he's kept it on both occasions. Beating both Brandon Styles and Mr. Amazing in both matchups, which is pretty hard to do. Oh, this Jack Perry's caught in a hill hook by Tom Waller. And see Ren Narita and Yoshinobu Karamara. 
Look at Ren Yurita. Ren Yurita just took off the damn uh, turnbuckle pads. Jack Perry misses the corner splash. And look at Jack Perry, the shot there to Tom Lawler. So the referee's got to get control of this match fast because this could turn into a fire match. What I mean by fire match is the managers get involved so much. As you see, Ren Yurita already took off the turnbuckle pad. My question is what happens if the House of Torture members get really involved, like someone uses a weapon or anything like that. Perry back into the ring here. Lawler said no, Lawler throws him in the corner. Perry got caught, kicked to the head of Jack Perry. Sliding German suplex by Tom Lawler. Oh, but look at this, referee didn't see it. The referee didn't see it, but Jack Perry, uh, not Jack Perry, Ren Yurita threw Tom Lawler back into the ring. The referee didn't see it because he was too busy dealing with the turnbuckle pads. Wow, covered by Tom Waller and a kick out by Perry. Already steaming, steams by the House of Torture already. Look at Yoshinobu. Yoshinobu's trying to take off the turnbuckle pad and he does this time. What the hell referee? Yoshinobu and Ren Narita already causing hell to the ring scene already. Kicking off turnbuckle pads going after their opponent when the ref's not looking. Man, a lot of referee needs to control this damn match. Perry thrown in the corner, caught again is Perry, kicked by Lawler to the head again, and here comes that sliding German suplex. Sliding German suplex again by Lawler. Look at Narita, the former world champion. Lost the title last episode to the former champion, Baron Von Farkas. Waller caught by Perry. Jack Perry, there's that head scissors. Got him. Wait a second. Referee is too busy looking at the turnbuckle pad. Better watch himself in case Yoshinobu or Ren Narita gets involved. Jack Perry, though, caught by Waller. Waller throws Perry off the ropes. Ducked down by Waller. Lawler leapfrogs. Lawler goes to the knee. He kind of hit it, but he kind of didn't. Shot to the back of Jack Perry, and here we go. Perry with a slap. And here comes a punch by Lawler. These two firing off right now. Man, why? These two punching the hell of each other. Perry with the chops. This, oh, never mind. Lawler got Perry. Perry slaps him right in the face. Perry says, come on, bring it on. And oh, Perry with a shot. Now a slap again by Jack Perry. Perry with a punch. Perry says, come on. And a shot of the jaw. Jack Perry blocked by Lawler. And here we go. Good God. Oh, Lawler tried to shoot the half, but he couldn't do it. Perry ducks down. Leap brought by Jack Perry. Perry clothesline blocked by Lawler. Waller, double, underhook, suplex. Perry smartly rolls out of the ring. Oh, what the hell? Yoshinobu Karamaru gets involved. Stalling this match because of talking to Tom Waller. What the hell? Perry's on the ropes, though. Oh, Waller's going for the PK to put away Perry. The kick is complete, got the drop. He got that version of the PK. Will that put away Jack Perry? No, Jack Perry somehow kicked out. Lawler can't believe it, but Jack Perry somehow kicked out. Perry's caught crossface. Crossface. Perry not trying to tap. And he does, and he gets out. Lawler tried to go for the Irinagi, but no one's home for it. Perry with that kick. Jack Perry, shot in the back. Perry. Now there's two turnbuckle pads off right now. Perry with a flip kick. Oh, no, 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 off the ropes. Knee, Trembler. He got Lawler. Jack Perry for the win. 
for the title on a kick out by Lawler. Tom Lawler almost got, won the damn match. Lawler almost lost, but look out for Perry. Oh man, Jack Perry. Oh, what the hell, Ray Narita talking smack to Lawler. Lawler thrown back in the ring by Perry. Jack Perry to the top rope. Jack Perry, look out below. Nope, Lawler caught him, DDT. Lawler throws caught by Perry, but the referee's too distracted by the turnbuckle pads. Jack Perry and Lawler is able to get out of that because Jack Perry, what the hell was Lawler going for? Oh, oh, St. Laurent trying to taunt Perry and it worked. Here we go, here comes a PK by Lawler, coming up, got him, double, stop. Tom Lawler, has he gotten Jack Perry? No, oh, Perry again. Jack Perry again kicks out of that PK. He kicked out of it again. Top rope is Tom Lawler, not diving, leg drop. Oh, and a big kick by, by Jack Perry. Perry kicks the head. Jack Perry, another springboard head scissors. By the scapegoat. Lawler back to his feet. Off into the corner. Jack Perry with a forearm. Jack Perry has Lawler. Oh, guillotine leg drop. Guillotine leg drop by Jack Perry. Lawler trying to block Perry. He does. Waller has the arm of Jack Perry. It's been a hell of a match here. Very physical. The managers on both on both sides have gotten involved in different ways to help their team, to help their partners. Oh, what the hell by yo by Ren Narita. Ren Narita again taunting Tom Waller, telling him that he's better than him. Waller and Narita are going at it right now. They don't like each other one bit. Lawler caught, catches Perry. Lawler, there's a punch. Tom Lawler, whoa, thrown over the top by Perry. Jack Perry. Perry taunting the fans here. Off the ropes, ducked down. Lawler, leapfrogs. Lawler went for the knee, got him in the leg though. Caught him on that leg. Perry put on the ropes. Lawler trying to put the match away right here. Lawler, duck shot. Here we go, that interceptor got him. And Perry rolls out of the way. And again, Ren Narita, again. The referee needs to throw Ren Narita out of the damn match. That's twice, or should say three times tonight, that Ren Narita has gotten involved in this match on the behalf of Jack Perry. Someone needs to throw Ren Narita out of the damn match. Let Davey Boy Smith Jr. Good idea by Davey. Because Narita's doing the same thing, why not do the same to him? Oh, bumping each other. Waller caught Perry though because he was too busy with talking to Davey Boy Smith Jr. Down he goes. Waller, the cover to beat Perry. Got him, Tom Waller has won and retained the title. Here's your winner of the match and still MUW strong open weight champion, filthy Tom Waller. Jack Perry caught with that stun gun by Tom Waller to keep the title. But hey, sometimes you just have to barely escape by the edge of your teeth and that's what Tom Lawler did. He just barely escaped the match tonight by the skim of his teeth. And when I mean by the skim of his teeth, I mean by it. Because at many a points that match, I think would have been over if Jack Perry would have hit a knee trembler again. 
And you never know what could happen again if uh, another knee trembler were connected for Jack Perry. Would have had a new champion. But there are many points that match where Lawler could not stay focused on Perry thanks to the House of Torture. Wait a second here. Again, Lawler and Ren Narita are talking to each other, taunting each other. Narita saying to Lawler saying to Narita, bring it on, Pip Sweet. Come on, bring it on. And Jack Perry from behind just low blowed Lawler. Lawler is down thanks to a low blow by Jack Perry. Lawler is down due to a low blow of Perry, and Perry hit him with a knee trembler. Waller is down. Here comes uh, Davy Boy Smith Jr. trying to get into the ring. And Josh Bishop's also coming out to help out Tom Waller. So Bishop and Davy Boy Smith Jr. trying to get into the ring. Yoshinobu just spit the mist right into the face of Bishop as Bishop was trying to get into the ring. And Narita just hit Davy Boy Smith Jr. with the friggin' push up bar. And he just dropped him with the friggin' double cross. I mean, this is just pure chaos. It's just drawing out in on the ring for Hellas of Torture and World Titan Federations. And wait, here comes Baron Von Farkas. Farkas has seen enough of the world champion sees Narina. He's pointing at Ren Narina. He points at his title. And Farkas is asking for a quick microphone check. So here, here we go. I think we're going to hear from the world champion. Hello? Is this thing working? Okay, it is. Ren Narita, I saw what you've been doing lately. And I know how you and Dick Todro screwed me out of that world title when I first had it. Well, I want it back, but... Uh, I was given a pretty good convincing talking with... Uh, with Keiji Muto about something. Uh, and he agrees with what I told him. And Narita... It's going to happen no matter if you like it or not. But next weekend, at the pay-per-view, it's going to be me versus you for this world title inside of Hell in a Cell, no matter if you like it or not. And Fark just has threw away at the microphone, so there we go. It's going to be Ren Narita versus Baron Von Farkas 3 inside Hell in a Cell in the next pay-per-view. Man alive. And Narita's talking smack right to Baron Von Farkas as Narita just got out of the ring now. He's, they're talking to each other. I think that's just how we're going to end the show. But what an interesting uh, episode that was with how the main event went, went. With Tom Waller beating Jack Perry with help from World Titan Federations. You can say the same about Jack Perry and House Torture. Wait, wait, uh, we'll see you either on Monday or... A different day for the next episode of 2K24, which be a group of B action and maybe a couple of trios matchups. And we will see you next time.